best science fiction. You know what I'm salty about? Uh, I read this really good book this year that was a science fiction that came out in 2021, but it wasn't nominated. Um, it's called uh, 22 Murders of Madison May. It's about this girl who is killed 22 times. It's science fiction. That's all you need to know. It's so good. Please read it. Um, I don't think it has enough hype. What I've realized is I'll only read sci-fi if it's also a thriller. In this category, I have read uh, The Echo Wife. Yeah, that's it. The Echo Wife is about this scientist who finds out that her husband is cheating on her with her clone. And that's the story. <laughs> I liked it um, a lot, actually. I, I think I gave it 4.5 stars. Um, not everyone's thing. I know Books and Lala likes, liked it. And if you, oh, what I found is my taste for weird book really align well with books and all of so she's like if she's like it's a weird book read at your own risk um, there's a high chance i would like it uh, so if you like a books and lala's weird reading preferences you might like my weird reading preferences i can see why people wouldn't like it though so read at your own risk the next category is horror i have read the final girl support group i think i gave it a four stars also now that i think back it's more of a 3.5 it's about final girls who have a support group and someone start getting all the final girls i've read later it's about this uh boy who can see dead people and that uh, and then something happens i don't remember what happens um and he has to investigate a crime it's more of a crime book yeah it says like crime on the cover too uh it's not really a horror oh i forgot to mention i don't i don't think i pl plan on reading any of the any of the other sci-fi nominations i'm sorry not my thing um uh, although if like any of the sci-fi nominees are sci-fi thrillers tell me which ones and i might read them um, I have read The Last House on Needless Street. Uh, it's about, it's about, it's from the point, I'm not, uh, it's about, from the point of view of this guy who lives in this house. And it's also point in the point of view from his daughter. And there's also a point of view from a cat. Uh, I love this book. It was so good. So intriguing. Um, four star, I gave it a four stars. Um, I, uh, have read all swell it's about this uh, professor who wants to put all swell on, on for theater but her students want to do macbeth and there are these i don't know how to explain it three people who takes interest in her and uh, the character also suffers from chronic pain so sometimes you don't know what's real and what's not and what she's imagining and what she's not and this was amazing i loved it okay i know a lot of people wouldn't consider it horror technically but if it's not horror then and i also don't know if it's not horror then like what other category it would be honestly like it's not scary horror but it's more like realistic real life horror i really liked it i voted for this one the drowning kind and this book genuinely genuinely scared me like it gave me nightmares for days um it's about the uh, there's this body of water which grants wishes it's from the point of view of this girl whose sister just died and before her sister died uh she called her a lot of times but the main character chose not to answer because she was tired of her sister and she regrets it a lot and it's also from the point of view of this lady uh, who wished on the well for a baby. It's really scary. I've also read Cattle and it's a fun horror. I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, this girl moves into this town and she meets this older lady who kind of owns this town and everyone's scared of her. And there are spiders, things happen. So good. I, I liked it. I personally really liked it. Uh, it was kind of scary uh mostly not though uh comfort me with apples it's about this girl who finds hair and fingers all around her house and uh, she asks her husband like what's happening and her husband is 
very cagey about it and she asks her neighbors what's happening and her neighbors are also really weird like it's really weird the book is really weird i really like the book okay but i i wouldn't say it's for everyone because it was so weird and the ending oh my god after i read the end and there was this one line that i went back to that gave gave me chills when uh she asks her husband if he's cheating on her and he's like no there are no other women and after i read the ending and i figured out what that meant oh my god i was shook that's all uh, that's all the books i have read in this category um i plan on reading dowry of blood uh my heart is a chainsaw i own a book of accidents it, um i started reading it but i wasn't really like into it so i put it down and haven't picked it up again uh but since i bought it i'll try to finish it i also plan on reading um this thing between us because this looks short and it's probably in my library when my audible credit comes i will use it to buy the audiobook for when the reckoning comes uh because it sounds really good i tried reading um the jess laurie book last year and um it, it made me really uncomfortable like it was meant to make you uncomfortable but like um it made me so uncomfortable that i couldn't carry on reading but if you like that kind of feeling from the books uh read that uh i don't know if i want to read near the bone though because i'm not a huge fan of creature horror if but if i find out if someone like wants to spoil it for me and tell me that it's not creature horror um i might read it the next category is humor ever read anything oh yeah i think i have only read one book from this category which is fan fiction so it's no, it's not a true story brent spiner kind of wrote this story fan fiction about himself basically um it uh, is very weird and over the top uh but if you enjoy that kind of books uh i guess it's for you i don't know if i plan on reading it anything from this category though i might pick up the nick offerman book because i love nick offerman uh but other than that i don't think i would read anything i might read the john green book but no promises though i don't really read nonfiction, so i also haven't read any of the memoir or autobiographies um i don't think i'll read any of them and i feel so bad because I kind of want to read Crying in H Mart and Somebody's Daughter, but I, I also know that I don't really like memoirs. Okay, let's go to Best Debut Novel because I feel like I've read things from that category. Okay, Spanish Love Deception. I read it, I loved it. Lost Apothecary, I love. I read it, I loved it. The Firekeeper's Daughter, I forgot that was a debut novel because it was so good. It's about this girl who is half indigenous and half white and uh she realizes that she has privilege because of her white side and uh and so she gets recruited by this fbi person because there's this drug thing going on it's really good pick it up uh if you want to oh the push read it loved it honey girl um so so mine says currently reading and what happened was i was reading I was listening to the audiobook of Honey Girl from my library and it got returned and I kind of didn't like care enough to borrow it again. Um, I liked her, I liked the friendship dynamics though, that, that's one thing that I really liked in the book. But the romance was not my fave. I actually voted for the push in this category, yeah. Not gonna read anything else in this category next category is young adult fiction see i feel like they should do young adult thriller and young adult romance uh two different two separate categories because i feel like a lot of it is thriller and a lot of it is romance so like if they had their own categories it would be better okay so the books i've read in this category ace of spades uh, um, it's really good it's amazing actually it's about these two people who are being targeted by this gossip girl type of entity and revealing all their secrets. I voted for As Good As Dead because it was 
I have a special place in, in my heart for the series. It's so good. I love everything about the series. I love the mysteries. I love the romance. Uh, I just love the series. My friend and I buddy read the, uh, this book together and we, I loved it. I don't know if he loved it as much as I did, but I loved it to death. There's crying, sobbing. And the thing, oh, I love the love interest in this book so good. Um, oh, I didn't mention what As Good As Death is about. It's about, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna say what's it about because it's the third book in the series and I can see why it didn't get as many votes because you would have to read the first and the second book to understand this. Pipa finds out, uh, realizes that she's being targeted by the serial killer. Uh, and I think that's all I'm gonna say without getting giving any spoilers. Um, I've read The Cousins. It's about this group of cousins who gets invited to her grandmother's a place because her grandmother wants, their grandmother wants to reconnect with them or something. But when they get there, they find out that the letters they received might have might not have been from their grandmother and they start diving into family secrets and start figuring out what happened to cause a, cause a rift in their family i've read instructions for dancing it's about it's kind of magical realism it's about this girl who realizes that she has the ability to see look at the couple and um find out what would happen um and how their relationship would end. She sees this guy, she kind of sees their relationship play out and it has a bittersweet ending, mostly sweet though, don't worry, it has a happy ending, uh, happy-ish ending and I loved it. They dance together, it's so cute, it is so cute. I've read The Box in the Woods, it's about um, the main girl, Stevie gets invited to this camp to solve the murder that happened years ago. Maybe the weakest book in the series, but still very good. Uh, she drives me crazy. It's about these two girls who kind of hate each other. And one day they get in a traf uh, in a in an accident. They have to drive together to school every day and then they fall in love. It's very cute. A far love story. It's about these two people from rival far restaurants who have never talked. It's not really hate to love. They were just never allowed to talk. They uh, talk one day and strike up a friendship. The story goes from there. I have also read You Have a Match. Uh, it's about this girl who finds out that she has a biological sister. And so she goes to camp to meet with her sister. And her best friend also goes to that camp every year. And it's a friends to lovers romance, but the more, more, more of the emphasis is on the family dynamics and the family drama. It's very, uh, the romance is very cute though, I really liked it. Uh, I've also read Honey and Issues Guide to Fake Dating. I forgot why they start fake dating, but they start fake dating. It's very cute, I liked it. Um, I've also read The Girls I Have Been. Um, it was one of my favorite books of the year though. Um, I know I didn't vote for it in this category, but it was so, so, so good. It's about this girl who's stuck in a bank robbery situation with her ex-boyfriend and her current girlfriend. And you kind of go back and forth between past and present. And in the past, she was um, abused by her uh, mom and she would get roped into uh, conning people with her mom uh, and her, um, and in the current day, she has to escape the bank robbery situation. And since she is really good at conning people, she's trying to uh, get out of the situation with the help of her friends, like her ex and her girlfriend. Uh, perfect on paper. So it's about this girl who anonymously gives uh, love advice to people um, in school. And one day, this boy sees that uh, she uh, finds out that she is the letter advice giver so he blackmails her into helping him get back together with his ex and she's in love with her best friend so it's kind of like a love triangle type situation i've also read counting down with you which pleasantly surprised me i thought it would be like kind of cringy but it wasn't it was so good it, it was about this girl who starts fake dating this guy for some reason i actually forgotten why 
anyway, they start fake dating and um and it was so cute. He starts learning things about her culture so he can impress he can impress her grandmother. It was it was good. It was good. She like won the light, fun, rom com. Pick this one up. The project. Uh, it's about this girl who finds that her sister is in a cult and she starts in no um investigating the cult. I don't remember the age of the main character, but I remember thinking that this was in YA. So I don't know why it's in this category. I plan on reading the Hawthorne Legacy, but I have to reread the first book uh, because I forgot what happened. I also plan on reading the Aristotle and Dante book, but uh, Gabby Reads mentioned that it was very sad. So I don't know if I want to read it. I, I don't want to read it if like any of them dies. Like I don't think I would be able to bear it. I want them happy and ha happy and alive and thriving in, and in this world. So if something happens to them, please let me okay give me spoilers for this book so i can read it which one else i also plan on reading new york i might like that because i know it's about a sister relationship so it could be good the next category is best young adult fantasy and science fiction i have read uh two books in this category us of hollows it's about these three sisters who are really pretty and everyone is obsessed with them, but like bad things keep, keep happening to them because of how pretty beautiful they are. The story takes off when the oldest sister goes missing and the other two has to find her. And the other book I read was uh, Lost in the ne Never Oods. It's about, it's a Peter Pan retelling. It's about this girl who finds this boy in the woods and he's injured. Uh, but he looks really familiar to her, but she doesn't know why. And he and there are kids that are going missing around the town and they have to figure out what's happening. Last category is middle grade, fiction, a middle grade and children's fiction. The only book I read in this category is City of the Plague God. It's set in New York City, plague that's going on and it's affecting everyone. Uh, and the main character has to go on quests to find out the cure for the plague. The books I plan on reading in this category. Uh, Daughter of the Deep. Uncle Rick wrote it, so I will read it. Uh, Uncle Rick actually got me into reading uh, without Percy Jackson. I wouldn't be a reader. That was the first... That, that wasn't the first book I read. Uh, the first books I read for fun were the Narnia but I didn't enjoy them as much as I enjoyed Percy Jackson and it turned me into a reader. I also plan on picking up the Amari and the Night Brother books. Uh, it's in my library. Oh, and I put a hold on Beasts and Beauty. Uh, and whenever that comes in, I will read it. I don't know much about uh, middle grade books though, so I don't know which ones are good, which ones are not. Oh, and Arusha, the last Arusha book. Uh, I didn't realize, uh, I read the first three books, I didn't realize that it was in a trilogy. Uh, so I might read this one because um, I plan on finishing the series. I might not get to all the books by January, the end of January though, so I might have to do another update, but I don't know when that will be. I don't know when my holes would come in because some of them have really long lines. So uh, whenever I get to them, get to them all, I'll make another update. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.